Baik ini pula susulan mesyuarat Kesatuan Olahraga Malaysia KOM pada Sabtu lepas. Pengarah teknikal KOM Robert Balat melahirkan rasa hairan apabila keputusan pada mesyuarat ahli majlis KOM dua hari lepas dibuat tanpa pengetahuannya. KOM pada Sabtu mengumumkan Zainal Abbas sebagai ketua julatih yang baru untuk persiapan menghadapi Sukan C 2017. Selain itu, KOM juga bersetuju mendapatkan hikmat dua julatih asing bertaraf dunia dari Jamaica dan Kenya. Namun keputusan itu dibuat tanpa mendapatkan pandangan balat walaupun beliau merupakan pengarah teknikal KOM. Situasi ini seolah-olah khidmat balat tidak lagi diperlukan KOM tatkala kedudukannya akan diputuskan dalam masa terdekat oleh Majlis Sukan Negara MSN. It's an unusual policy decision to make that when you have someone as the technical director and then uh, the governing body and uh, the federation uh, do not wish to to take on on the advice that you're I'm consulted here to do for them and to help them with the process. At the end of the day, it's their final decision, but I think we should be looking at all the options that are available before we make that decision. It's a significant financial decision to be made, and it should be made transparently and and with the best worth for the country. Sementara itu, beliau tidak mahu MSN sekadar melihat pada nama setelah KOM berminat mendapatkan juratih acara pecut dan lari berhalangan Leo Almando Brown dari Jamaica dan juratih jarak jauh Samuel Kipsang Rono dari Kenya. That's up to KOM and MSN to to determine the interview process. I hope that they go through a very stringent interview process. There are a number of very good uh, opportunities out there for coaches. Um, and just because they come from certain countries doesn't mean that they're going to be fantastic coaches. We need to make sure that they will uh, blend into the, the type of culture that is here in Malaysia.